What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. So today I'm doing another like vlog in the car. Um, it's been quite some time since I've uh, done any vlogs. Um, I think the last time I was doing it, like I did some, uh, some changes to my rear sway bar, something like that. But yeah, anyways guys, um, basically I wanted to talk to you guys about that my car has hit 40,000 miles. So it hit 40,000 miles this weekend. Um, it's Wednesday right now and shoot, I've already put on another like 200 miles. Um, but basically what I just wanted to talk to you guys about was uh, how the car is held up. Um, as you guys know, I do quite a few autocross vents. Um, you know, I've been to the drag strip quite a few, um, like two times. And you know, I've basically done just a lot of um, canyon stuff, you know, where I'm on the back roads or anything like that. Um, I've had two sets of tires now. I mean, this I'm on my second set. First set of tires with the, the stock Dunlaps, those actually lasted, I think I got like 26,000 miles out of those. So, and they were like shot. They were like totally done. I mean, bald as hell. But uh, now I'm on the Bridgestone Potenza RE11s. I love these tires. Um, if you're gonna get some new tires though, now get the uh, RE71s. Those are a little bit better, uh, a little bit stickier. Probably my next set might be those, but we'll see uh, what comes out next year. Um, overall though, the car has just been awesome for me. Uh, I haven't really had any issues besides like some boost leaks where the uh, intercooler to throttle body hose has popped off. Let me know in the comments below if that's happened to you or if you've watched that video that I made of me fixing it after I had taken the car to the dealership to get it fixed once. You know, after I took it there, I was like, that takes way too long. I had to drop it off. They didn't really fix the issue because it popped off about three days later or something like that um, just from driving around. And that was when the car was stock. That wasn't even when I had like, you know, a Cobb access port or anything like that. Um, I guess what I wanted to talk to you guys about too is like, what are some of the good mods, you know, that you should do to your car at first? You know, I know Christmas is coming up, so you guys might be thinking, hey, what should I get? You know, what should I tell people I want to get? Um, some of the first things I would say, you know, if you want to get something cheap, um, go ahead and just do some bushing upgrades, you know, do the, uh, the shifter busher, bushing upgrade. I actually have yet to do that, but you know, I've heard that one works out pretty good, the Cartboy one. Um, I would recommend doing the, the positive rear traction bushings. Those work really good for the rear subframe. Um, the power steering rack bushings, you know, those are all good things to do, you know, just changing those out. Um, pretty cheap. It'd be an easy present for someone to get you because you know it's like 50 or 60 bucks. Most of the parts on these cars, you know, can be can be pretty high. You know, you can get you know five, six hundred dollar parts and or more. And when you tell someone, yeah, that's what I want for Christmas, they're gonna go, that's cool. Uh, what else can I get you? Because I'm not gonna spend that much. But uh, maybe they will, and then that's awesome. But um, yeah, I've been on the Torque Performance Tune for. Uh, stage two tune now for quite some time. I'm gonna take this off. I don't know if that helped out with clarity at all, but had this little, had this little like lens thing on there. Uh, it, sometimes it gets a little, gets fingerprints on it and stuff. But anyways, it can get a little blurry. Um, but yeah, basically I've been on the stage two tune for I think like 14,000 miles now, which you know is quite a few miles. Um, this is a 2014. WRX and uh, yeah, I mean it's been it's been running great. Um, like I said, I haven't really had too many issues. Um, only things I have to kind of complain about are the uh, the A arm here and the interior pieces. You know they rattle like hell. I know I've mentioned that in videos in the past. Um, now that it's getting cold out, um, they're starting to rattle a lot more, and I gotta go back in there and probably like seal them up again or like before I put some uh, some felt stuff, like the one side of a Velcro piece on there, kind of the fuzzy part. And that seemed to help out for quite some time, but I might go in there and put some uh, double sticky tape in there again, see if I can't um, pad those areas a little bit more um, because it's making a little bit of noise. But overall, uh, interior wise, I haven't really had any issues with the car. Um, yeah been pretty good I like it um, as far as you know the motor goes and the clutch and all that stuff like I said got 40,000 miles on the car I've done probably 20 plus launches in this car um, probably at least like 
gosh, probably, you know, at least 10 or so at the drag strip and then, you know, 10 plus out on the street or on back roads or whatever, you know, besides that, just goofing around or whatnot. But yeah, I mean, the clutch is held up. Um, I've had it a couple times, like at the drag strip where it slipped, but that was mostly my fault because I let it out a little bit too slow and it just slipped a little bit and it hadn't, hasn't had any issues after that. And like I said, I am on, you know, stage two tune. I know a lot of people that uh, have clutch issues a lot sooner than that. I don't know if they're just riding their clutch a lot more or something like that, but maybe that's why. Um, maybe you live in a hilly area where you're, uh, you're riding it a lot. I don't know. Um, I haven't really had any issues. Hopefully it goes a little bit longer. Um, we will see. I'd like to at least get another, hopefully another year out of this clutch before I have to replace it. But you know, I can feel that it is, it is grabbing a little bit higher than when I first got the car. Um, other things that I've had issues with, mm, not really much. I've just worn out tires and stuff like that, which is obvious from like ripping around, you know, um, which we're going to do here in a second. We're going to hit some off ramps because this is always fun. I like hitting this little spot over here. It's like a little freeway cluster in Mexico, you know, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, so we'll turn off this little button right here because we're going to have fun in a second. So yeah, um, let me know in the comments below what you guys have had issues with. Have you guys had issues with anything on your car? Um, you know, has it, have you had, I don't know, problems with the starting? Have you had a bad battery? Have you had boost leaks? You know, interior pieces, have they broken? Um, just let me know. Let me know in the comments below. And I'll go rip around real quick. Sorry guys, like I'm just trying to get in a quick vlog because it has been dark out and as you guys know, the darkness sucks. It's like I go to work in the dark and I come home in the dark. So it's kind of harder to film. Yeah, I can film in the garage, but I just, I don't know, when it gets dark out, I feel like you lack motivation to like do stuff. You know how it is. Um, and then it's, for me, it's like harder to film because I'm still trying to pump out videos for you guys because um, I know you guys like watching this stuff, so. I'll get a little clear spot. Uh. Oh yeah, I'll rip it around, rip it around. Sliding it a little bit. That's fun. That is fun. Get my tires a little workout. It is 59 degrees out. So if you guys are wondering when it's a little colder out, how these tires perform, they perform awesome. Let's come down into the corners. I don't know if I'm gonna get a little like free area or anything. Right now I'm going pretty dang slow. But uh, getting back on, sometimes I get a little, nice little rip. Oh, we got the, uh, we got some policia over here. So I don't know if I'm gonna go around more than really once. Kind of a bummer. But at least I got to see that. Oh, yeah. All right. That was fun. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. All right. Looks like I'll get one more little rip and then I'll come off here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My car loves it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Oh yeah. Let's see if he's looking at me. Not really. Well, cool guys. Um, yeah, uh, just let me know in the comments below. Like I said before, um, you know, if, if you guys have had any problems, if you like your car, if you hate your car, what do you hate about your car? What do you like about the car? Whatever. Let's go ahead and throw it in the comments below if you got this far in the video. Um, I guess other than that, guys, I uh, hope to have some more videos coming out soon, and we'll talk to you later. Peace out. Plastic remnants out of there. Um, also, what I used, I'll just show you the...